Did you know that Watson's Mill keeps this 1860s marvel of engineering active and a working museum replicas and maintain this? Let me show you how the power is derived. Right from the, right from the Rideau River and about a headwater dam of eight feet. So just the weight of that water at the top, that cement wall, pressurizes these revolutionary types of water-powered turbines. A lot of people might be familiar with, you know, the old overshot wheels, but these could generate enormous power. And Watson's Mill, I believe, has six turbines, three still in operation. Currently, you can see that main one comes straight up through. Do you see it lying there? And it is what we worked on this, well, this last winter. And uh, we're just cleaning up because the museum is opening on May, or yes, May the 17th, with the grinding of flour for the first time this season on the 18th of May. And so the museum will be technically open and most of these areas will be closed off. This is the third turbine area, which has a rather interesting array of different transmissions that shift work uh, either up onto the main floor, like this counter shaft, which shoots a huge belt up to the place that the kids buy the duck feed from that machine. And, uh, you know, there it is, sort of going up through the floor. Uh, we rebuilt that a few years ago. It's also transferring a vertical shaft, which is part of the flower curing operations in the hopper upstairs. So the three turbines, two of them are 60 horsepower, one of them is 15, operate those moving parts. Now you notice right away up here on the main floor, this is the fancy floor. There's not stone walls, even though this is a stone building, those are plaster walls. Remember, this is a factory. And uh, so plastered walls would have been, um, well, rather lavish. And you know, if you look around, there's that shaft that I saw in the corner downstairs. If you look around, you're gonna notice that there are a little more uh, ornate Arrangements in this room, for instance, there are uh, hemlock logs turned into uh, Doric columns and Greek, very reminiscent of earlier factories done by the Navy uh, in England. Uh, that was a common sort of factory, uh, industrial revolutionary sort of show of elegance. So this would have been where in the 1860s, the clients and the, uh, the people coming in to have their grain processed or to buy flour. And you'd drop your wagon over here and you'd dump it in here. And these bucket elevators, this one goes up three and a half stories to the very tip of the attic and then disperses itself. That one we worked on here, uh, running the stone, and it drops down and this is the flour elevator which brings that up three and a half stories to be cooled in uh, some very interesting apparatus. And uh, I'll tell you, you get a good workout with these uh, stairs because I believe they're 14 foot ceilings, almost 16 foot uh, uh, about deck to deck. So that other shaft that came up through the corner of the very basement and in the corner of the next room, runs a few, um, a few interesting objects that are common to uh, flower grinding operations, and that's the bolster. And uh, we rebuilt all of these bearings, which had failed terribly, uh, and uh, this floor shaft, which operates the bolster. So you saw the flower carry the flower up to the attic. It's now dropping it down into this unit. Um, and it, it just sort of sists the flour automatically that fall into bags downstairs. But 
The twisted belt is to change direction. If I want a shaft to turn clockwise or counterclockwise, you can run the belt straight or as it, it is there as you came in. Twisted, that's what changes the direction. We also have some other, other interesting contraptions such as uh, the oil drip pans. And you know, you'd ne you can see them hanging underneath where the oil used to drip all over the floor and stuff. And this is, there's very old examples of this. This is where, and incidentally, oil pan came from. When they say that about your engine has an oil pan. This is what it has. And this really, the museum really is, a, you're walking inside of a machine. It's not protected outside. It is a three and a half story machine to which you are inside of. The, I, I, I know of no other type of experience that you could possibly imagine than an absolute uh, cared for building that uh, is the is the real main point of Watson's Mill Inc. And I'm just uh, delighted to be part of of uh, of this organization in any way that I have been. So here we rebuilt all that. So all those elevators come up here. So there's a whole bunch of shafts. Not much of the elaborateness is left up here. There was there were augers that uh, there were that would shift grain no matter what it was to multiple hoppers because I believe there were six stones grinding if you can imagine and here we are